Yep. If you guys ever want to know how long to leave your beer in the freezer for, not that long. Welcome to a long day's worth of filming and editing to come back to try and have a cold one, and it was a little too cold. Oh, cheers. Um, I don't even know if I can sip this. I guess I'm just going to have to... It's bad. Here we go. Oh, almost hit it. Almost hit it. Almost hit it. Oh, God. up y'all welcome back man we are uh in the middle of nowhere really trying to drop the kayak in in a spot i don't think you're supposed to drop kayaks in and i had this super stealth mode idea of uh well dropping them in where the little paddleboard shack is and it's open i figured it'd be closed for the whole pandemic deal so i'm waiting on torrents to roll up and we are going to try and drop the kayaks in probably just around the corner we got to find a spot where the ledges are a little bit lower this place has got like five foot ledges all the way around it uh, you've seen it in a video or two. We would love to be able to tear this thing apart in some deeper water, hitting it with the yaks. And what better yak to do it with than the brand new PDL 106 by Old Town that we just received. And I can't wait to tell you guys even more about this thing. I think you've only seen it in one unboxing video. Let me see where Torrance is at, though. Found him <laughs> with an inch to spare. <laughs> that Valley Park. What's, What's up, dude? What's up, man? Oh man, we about to get after it. But I tell you what, I don't think we can drop in here. So for real, we might have to find a spot just down the street. And we got Google Maps on our side, though. We can find a spot. I don't care if I got to drag the kayak up here and walk down this bridge and then just jump in the water. We don't <laughs> care, man. We gotta make this happen. Man, I think we found it. What'd you think? This looks like the opportune spot. This is it, bro? I think this is it. <laughs> It's basically a dedicated kayak ramp. I'm thinking we just walk them right down here, one at a time. We got her set up, black box, rods, paddle, hydro flask, PDL system. We got a money bag in here with soft plastic scale, pliers. Cutters. I'm gonna put a couple tackle boxes in here from the backpack and we're ready to roll. Well y'all, I would say that took like 20 minutes and we're still here, so we haven't got the boot. I didn't know San Antonio was so close. It is gonna be a sketchy launch, just so you know. But probably even worse, getting them out. Oh, she good. Oh, it's the paddle. Oh yeah, she bad. Uh, guys, comment down below whether you think we're gonna have a harder time dropping in or getting out, because it's like a three foot ledge right here. I already feel the heart rate spiking. That's the heaviest 10 foot six inch I've ever lifted. It's not my fault that I loaded up with all this gear, man. Oh. Might be more challenging than we thought. We're about to fall in. I'm worried about your rods. I think we should put your rods on after we get it in the water. One, two, One, three. three. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> so don't they know there's a ramp right there? <laughs> One, two, three. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if we're getting out of this place. I mean, this is this is next level. Uh, we got people eyeballing us across the bank. It's uh, this is gonna be fun. All right, come along. All right, man, we're out here making our first few casts. I'm throwing the big, heavy, shaky head. I'm pretty sure this place is insanely deep in some areas. And uh, yeah, that is how we're starting things off. I bet a crank would not be a bad idea, a shad style crank. But I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'll get there in a minute. Let's just go through a couple uh, baits real fast. See what we can put together out here. Old Town coming in clutch with the Hydro Flask sized cup holder, man. That's legit. Shit. I think it's because I didn't lock it down all the way. Yeah, now she's locked. Not yet today, but we've caught in here before plenty of times. Uh, we're trying to fish for bass. Yeah, of course. That's the spot right on the brush in the shade. Come on. I'm gonna switch over to the Texas rig for a second while I hit these docks. Hey y'all, Mondo Worm in the shade coming in hot. All the shade from the docks has to be some fish. Looks so good. Y'all, our time was cut short. Uh, a young gentleman told us to get out of here, so on our way to the next pond. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes my lure. <laughs> Alrighty then. He came back around this corner and was like, I don't want to see you here again. I said, Yes, ma'am. You need me to help you out with that? No, I can't. All right, y'all, so we did get kicked out of the last spot. Torrance and I stopped at the gas station, grabbed some water. He's still over there. I think he stopped for some tacos, but guess what? Met up with Xavier. He fished the Bass Grabbers tournament with me this last weekend, man, and check him out with the new boat. This thing is ridiculous. Thank you, thank you. He's set up. Captain's chair, right? Uh -huh. 
Trolling motor. Get this thing across the lake record time. Rod holder. What, what else do you want to add to this thing? Like I said, man, I want to add an HDS 7 actually on the front of it. Uh, add another, you know, bigger motor, 2.5 horsepower motor on there. Gonna be sick? Yes, sir. We might just do a little bank versus boat action for the rest of this video. Like see if Xavier can't top us. Man. It's gonna be Christian. He's actually on his way over here. Torrance should be here any minute. And then uh, you got me. So I assume this is your truck. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Man. You're good. We're just uh, gonna get in here and then we'll get out of your way. Tell you what, when you go kayak fishing, you want to pick a spot that you can stay at because it is not fun loading and unloading. It does take a minute. Let me tell you that much. It's not necessarily the best spot for the camera on this boat, so I just kind of put it in here. I make sure I take that mic jack out because if anything bangs up against that, it is known to mess up, get messed up, and your mic won't work anymore. Holler at me if you guys uh, want to see me bring the boat out here. Look at this ramp. I thought it was so much more sketchy last time we were here but it actually looks good. I guess I should say, wait until we get on some fish or don't. The tree line on that side where you can't really hit from the bank looks very good. A lot of this stuff you can't really hit unless you've got a yak or a boat. So I think it could be promising. Also, there's some good structure around the corner, a lot of columns. I'll just shut up and get to fishing. There. Where's my crawling beater? One from under the bridge, Xavier's on. Looks like the boat is outperforming the yak. Oh boy. Hey, what's up? Yo, are you over there? Yeah, we uh, just got in the water. All right, here we go, y'all. We're approaching the juice. Dang, Xavier's pulling them out of there. Yo, this actually feels like a really good shaky head bottom. I'm gonna switch back over to that thing from earlier. The water seems very clear. Big old worm dancing right in front of him. Feels like a hard bottom. But I have no clue if there's like big fish in this place. Usually I say, oh yeah, there's bigs here, there's bigs here. And then I don't catch anything big. This place I have no clue about. First one of the day on the shaky head. All right, right off the wall, and it's actually a good fish, you guys. Wow, there we go. Oh my gosh. Second fish ever on the Old Town kayak, and it is a fatty. Hey, yo! Wow. Slim shaking it up, boys. Yes! And watch this. Normally, I wouldn't be able to do this, but I'm gonna try and back off this wall. That way, more bass will congregate. That is a fatty. What is going on out here? Look at that bass, y'all. Oh my gosh. Slim shake. Yes, please. And it's on the new yak, y'all. Be ready for some crazy videos. I don't know if Xavier's gonna be able to top that guy right there. Solid. Whoa, solid fish. And he's got some thrashing still to do. Oh, he didn't really hammer it either. I just felt something heavy and then I like tightened up the line. Oh, he's on, boom. I didn't get the best hook set. I was sitting down. Man, liking this little paddle setup though, or pedal. <laughs> it's easy to say paddle when you mean pedal. I'm liking the pedals, man. I was able to back off that spot without having to go crazy with my hands and get the paddle out. So that is something new. The ramp is way better than I remember, dude. I'm definitely bringing the boat here. I do want to get back in there on those columns. She moves, boys. I got to grab them skis. Hey, it's a no wake zone. <laughs> oh, shit. iceberg ahead. Hit that slalom course. Oh, shit. Oh, yo. Oh, shit. Say what? Yes, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> we out here breaking shit, boys. <laughs> it's a party. Uh, YouTube, let it be known this is my official submission for the Kayak Olympics of 2021. I'm going for the slalom course. Wish me luck. Oh, God. Woo. Right back. Right back. Coming in hot. Cutting the corners. The first round was pretty solid, but it's the best of two heats. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if we're gonna make this one. I don't know. We got it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. In my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag. How'd I look, coach? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I thought so. That's Weston Smith. Submission coming out of Big Tex of the US of A. I guess we should try and fish some more, huh? All right, we're gonna hit wide. Here with me. Oh, almost hit, almost hit. Oh, my God. There's one thing we have found out about the old towns, man, is that they can endure. Go ahead and check these things out with the link down in the description. If you guys want to give these things a shot for yourself, this pedal drive is absolutely sick, man. You will definitely beat your competition to the fishing spot. I can guarantee that. The thing is not slow. Pair that with some dynamite steering, as you guys just saw. It is very tough to beat. I'll leave that down in the description for you guys, but for now, I'm gonna try this back corner. Everything back here, does it not look like there should be fish everywhere? And I have not got one bite here in the back. I see a tunnel though. 
Oh, on the money. We are by that drain, boys. Get me a fish. Dude, what do I need to throw? A drop shot? I just don't think they're in this back pocket, man. Oh, I'm gonna have to go join the boys. This is insane. I'll tell you what, if I go back out there, I think I'm gonna stick with that slim shake. I just wanna get some bigs, man. Let's get back on the grind. What time is it, too? Time check, 8.06. I was gonna say, almost feels like it's getting dark right now. I should get back to the house at some point and edit today's video, because it's not entirely finished. And it's actually the first video of this kayak, the unboxing. Uh, by the time you see this, you've already seen that, but that is the one I'm working on tonight, y'all. And you wonder why my videos go up so late. It's easy to say, oh, well, you should just plan your videos out. Well, when you do one every single day, a little different. Sure, I could plan them out a little bit, but after you've been doing it for a while, it gets a little tough. Drop down in the comments what you guys want to see me do. I've been asking a lot of you guys in the, uh, in the pinned comment, video ideas like challenge ideas kayak ideas what you guys would like to see me do with this maybe some uh pedal versus paddle maybe some uh, i don't even know you guys come up with some stuff and let me know down in the description and i will just get back to fishing see if i can't at least catch two fish in this video for you guys how about that torrance just mentioned me in his story i got a feeling it's a uh, it's a big what you got over there torrance yeah bars i know but he's still <laughs> dude <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> add the <to> story <laughs> please follow me on instagram y'all i'm 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 short of followers right now <laughs> gotta tell you what summertime has been a little tough for us lately hasn't it we have not been getting on the fish but the yak is super dope the pedal drive system is pretty dope man i haven't had to pull it up for any grass today the scupper plugs have been taken out because you'll get a little water in here after you launch and like put the system down so i just have been leaving one of the plugs out and so that's that up there um the grips are really nice i haven't been like slipping off this thing at all and it stays in place uh perfectly with these little guys right here which you can even tighten up if you needed to but uh those two guys that tighten up that crossbar super simple man easy to put this thing on and remove it and you're supposed to remove it actually whenever you're traveling uh, so i would highly advise it even if you were thinking about traveling with this unit on the kayak because all that happens is it, it pulls up and it rests on this little ledge right here but if it were to fall down and the prop was kind of sideways instead of vertical it could fall down and it could snap the prop as it tries to go through the hole in the bottom of the yak so just keep uh keep that in mind uh, also the dry the dry storage thing is pretty dope how it like pops up for you uh, i am liking that more and more that thing pops up so quick access um it's not like as big as the dry storage on the bonafide but it's got plenty of room i mean honestly it, it even it even goes up under here a little ways so you've got plenty of space for more than enough for your electronics and whatnot that you bring on the boat i would say also what i haven't utilized is this right here these little tie downs these little zip tie almost things those things are super legit and i've seen some people just toss uh like foam under these and then they'll use it to put like some hooks and baits in and just different things of that nature but yeah i need to figure out how to deck that out or what i should put there and i should probably just keep my line tight in case i do get bit these side pockets have been dope for just the essentials that's for sure and i think i'm bit oh wow i think he took a little bit of the worm and then let it go i haven't put any accessories on the rails yet but i do plan on putting the gopro mount on here so uh, be looking out for that. The cup holder is a perfect size for a hydro flask in case you're wondering. And yeah, I mean like the rudder system works flawlessly. I haven't been using the rod holders cause I've got the black box and just a couple updates, man. I I'm really liking this kayak. It is a little, it is, you know, shorter than what we're used to, but it allows you to get into spaces you might not normally be able to. It's also quite nimble, so that helps the steering. You know, if it's a 12 or 13 footer, like uh, Old Town does offer, then I, I assume it wouldn't be quite as agile. But I, I would really be, uh, I'm, I'm quite curious about getting like a PDL 120 next because that extra length paired with the, uh, the PDL would be sick, man. A little bit more room, a little bit more storage for your stuff. Uh, one thing I'm only using for like the first time tonight is this right here. Do I have a tackle box in there? Oh, I got some baits. Yeah, so I, I kind of forgot that there's this storage right here because again, a little bit of water is going to get on the deck uh, whenever you put this thing in the water. So this is a good spot to have some of your goodies. That way stuff is not getting soaked. If it is, uh, you know, like hard plastics and stuff that might rust over time if you don't have the best boxes. Anyways, quick little update over here before a sunset and we got to call it quits, man. Oh yeah, I forgot, you're not supposed to approach concrete with this thing, probably. Whoops. Y'all, we are uh, venturing off the beaten path. We're trying to get on the sunset bite over yonder. Do you really? You got a topwater tide on? Yeah. Throw it. 
Nice and calm right here. The bottom looks real good for the Slim Shake. This could be promising, boys. I assume there's bass in this thing. Oh my God, that's a, that's a tree. All right, they ain't hidden. Come try this kayak. Y'all, Christian's about to take the old town for a test drive. Dude, I feel like I need to take out a life insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she fast. This is a no wake zone though, remember. So first things first, uh, you'll want to scoot this back. You have to pull both sides to scoot that back to where you want. We in business. Yep. And drop the rudder and start paddling now. The rudder's on the right. Yeah, you're good. You can go straight for a second. There it goes. Here we go. Too easy. Yeah, the steering's on the left. I forgot to tell you. Game changer. So sick, right? Dude, when you start pedaling really fast, it feels like the top is like lifting up. It goes. That just shows you that Weston goes above and beyond for his fans. <laughs> Hitting him with the reverse. He's just having too much fun now. Actually, Christian got himself a rudder on the back of his too for some steering. The thing is sick, man. He's got it all set up to where it steers with the foot pedals. We actually kind of showcased his yak in one of the recent videos. I know you guys probably seen it already. The thing's sick. Yeah, us budget YouTubers don't need this fancy stuff. <laughs> DIY everything. <laughs> Who needs it? All right, y'all, and with that little test drive, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it. I'm probably gonna head back to the bank. It looks like Torrance and Xavier are on the other side fishing. If they're getting on them, I don't, don't think I'm leaving. But uh, make a few more casts and then I'll probably catch you guys back at the house. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Did you get any fish? Absolutely not. Christian absolutely did not catch any absolutely fish. Not. I absolutely caught one fish, and Torrance and Xavier, they were getting on them, I think. I, I'm not 100% sure, but it sounded like they were crushing it, so. I caught my one fish. Yeah. All right, y'all, on an unforeseen change of events, Xavier has invited me on deck, while Torrance also jumps on the old, well, the old town. <laughs> you do whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. I like it. Oh, dude. All right, now first things first. Oh, adjust that seat. Pull both of those things up on each side. Which one? Uh, I don't, I don't know. A little white tab. Right by the front arm. of the seat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And get it to where you just got a slight bend in the knees whenever you're like fully extended on that drive. Oh. Yeah, is that right or a little? No, yeah, that looks about right. Get it, son. Steering's on the left. Uh, his kayak will be fine. <laughs> it's a party out here. Yeah, buddy. Dang, speaking of hauling, we over here cruising on the motor. And there goes Torrance's yak. He's, got, he's hauling his yak. Look, you can tell your friends. Yo. Overnight. Oh, God. That's hilarious. Thing's wow. crazy. Meanwhile, how's the stability test on this bad boy? And this thing oh, is pretty yeah. dope, man. This thing is, he's got it going on. Yeah, man. Five speed, too, man. Five speed? Yes, sir. Hit him, Hit him with the five. Let's go. <laughs> Old town knew me. <laughs> then it gets to you after a while. Oh, my legs. He's school Oh, dope. Let's get it, boys. We got the weight going. All right, then. All right, y'all. We have made it home. We had a ton of fun with the crew. I'm going to put all the social medias down in the description, but... I do want to thank you for sticking around till the end on this one. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notifications so you see the future vids, man. We got a lot of content coming on the old towns. And with that being said, we will catch you on the next one. I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps>